Originally we uh, started Brogian because there is no, no infrastructure in our communities on the, in the uh, reserve, no infrastructure, no water, no sewage, no electricity and uh, our people had, uh, you know, they had uh, things wrong with them, so they couldn't have hot and cold showers and uh, they'd end up in hospital and the hospital had a, in Kempsey had a, a term called uh, the boomerang effect where our people would go in and they'd be out and they'd be back in and then back out. Some of these people who were in, wheel they were in wheelchairs lived in the backs of cars or in old shacks with windows broken, you know, and uh, in, in really bad uh, conditions on, you know, on, on the reserves. So we decided to do something about it, you know. And, well, we, from, from what Borgian is today, we start from extremely humble beginnings. You know, and I'm really pleased and proud to say that, and I'm really pleased to be no, the co-founder of Bruges and Juggin with Val March. I mean, when we first started off, no one would ever thought that, you know, what we talked about would even get off the ground. They thought it'd be a white elephant on the hill, because back in those days, I mean, there was a lot of uh, organisations falling over. There was failures. The government would set up Aboriginal organisations to fail, and I make no uh, bones about that. And uh, that's what people were thought would happen to this place. <laughs> Uh, the training here at Borgian is, uh, through our college, is pretty unique. It's very unique. You have Aboriginal trainers who deliver the training, and our trainers are all not just qualified in the training that they deliver, but they also have that experience in the area that they're training in. Our training covers uh, all various aspects of hospitality, administration, natural resource management, aged care, I uh, went to primary health care, uh, building, uh, trades and all that sort of stuff. Now there's a whole gamut of training you can do here through Borgia. With an aged care certificate you can become uh, the uh, you know, aged care workers. Or you, from there you can go into administration. And, uh, but or, or hopefully go into you know, uh, the assistant nursing and royal nursing and then become an RN. Now, which would be a, a good pathway for some you know, young men and women because there's a huge demand for you know, uh, Aboriginal nurses. <laughs> because the whole thing is uh, with, with Borgian here and why we do it so well and why we are successful is because, you know, it, Borgian has got, got buildings, etc., whatever, but our foundation is a spiritual one. The spirituality of Aboriginal people permeates, which makes us really, really strong because it comes through from the ground up into everybody else. And people can feel that when they come here. And it's the same with health and with the training, you know, because it, it all uh, interlaces and, and, and becomes one. The overall uh, scheme of things, you know, we've done one is the employment training and, you know, and creation in our facility which is, you know, owned by the community, driven by the community, it's community controlled and, uh, you know, we've done great things. We've, uh, you know, the, when, when we first uh, started off, I mean, back then, the unemployment rate amongst Aboriginal people was, uh, you know, 99, 99%. On the reserves it would have been 100%. And since we started, uh, our training and employing our people with us and they've just gone into other organisations or because of their, their training which they've had and the calls that they've got, they've gone into other things and they've gone to further including the university. Some of those people are professional people now and uh, yeah, it's had a fantastic impact. Didn't ever think that would happen but it did and I'm pleased it did. How can I close the gap? By additional funding to RTOs you know, or uh, lobbying in the government on behalf of RTOs for additional funding. In the, the case of, uh, you know, uh, like Borgian for, for base funding, 
and uh, more staffing positions because as the, uh, uh, the, the demand grows for more training, more qualified Aboriginal people in the industry, and it's going to happen, this it creates more jobs within the RTOs itself and more positions. So they go hand in hand. So you know, more money from the government you know, through Close the Gap and other initiatives you now would be a benefit and a benefit not just to, to our services but to other, other Aboriginal services across Australia. If they want to close the gap, let's be fair income about it.